Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Coder. Back with another interesting video, but this time not React, is HTML and CSS. Yes, we are going to create this cool, neat and clean animation using CSS. Look at this. I've seen it somewhere in Drivel or Twitter, I don't remember, but this animation is really cool. Okay, so let's create a simple HTML and CSS project. Oh, okay, I've already created that, so open this in VS Code. Nice. Index.html and also create a style file, so style. PSS. Go to HTML and create a simple HTML mockup. Fine. Um, body. Hello. And also link the CSS. Oh man, I'm doing a simple CSS and HTML project after you know, one year. Oh. Style.css. Fine. Also, let's run a live server. So, open it live server. By the way, I'm using an extension here. So, this thing. Live. Yeah, this live server. Cool. Fine. So, let me just refresh this. Nice, so here is my hello. Okay, now let's see what's the approach. Okay, first of all, I like to talk about the approach. So, so first of all, it's a game of CSS position property. We have total three elements. Yes, three elements. Two images. One is the background phone image and one is the foreground frame image. And at the middle, we have this text. And then we are just animating this with the position and rotate property. That's it. Let's see. So first of all, let's get the mockup. No GitHub Copilot. I don't want this. Cool. Under a main. I should have an image, also a div, under this div, I'll have a h1 and a paragraph and also under this main, I'll have another image. Cool. Cool, fine, let's grab the images. So you can grab these images from my GitHub repo. Oh, let me just do it. Yeah, look at this. I have this image, which is the phone and then at the foreground, I have this image, which is the frame. So that looks like we're actually you know, overlapping the text, right? That's a trick. Let's put the image, mm -hmm. go to index.html again, the source it should be phone dot, oops, it should be phone dot png, yes, the alternate, this is background, and also the last image, I mean the second image, oh this is not inside the div, it should be outside the div, yeah, and here this would be frame dot png, fine, alternate is frame, I mean doesn't make any sense, but okay, cool. And what should be a text? Let me just copy the text. Try this product for free. And the paragraph is subscribe. No, not subscribe. Subscribe, please. Okay, just save this and let's see. Okay, so I have this first image and then this try this product for free. Subscribe, please. I mean, I mean it by the subscribe. And then I have this second image. Okay, let's add the CSS. Cool. Let's go to style.css and here first of all remove the padding and the margin so padding 0 margin 0 and the box sizing is border box nice let's go to the body first of all the height should be 100 viewport height so height is 100 viewport height add a background color this is not f5 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 this is i don't know 40 0 b a5 the color should be white Font family is Roboto, so font family Roboto sans serif. Cool, save this, let's see. Yeah, looks good. Nice. Now put everything at the center. So for that, we can use display grid and place item center. Save this. Cool, it's center. It should be vertically centered also, but uh, we'll do that later. Now let's play with the position. This first image, this text, and the second image should be absolutely positioned, right? let's do it so for that first grab the main so body under this have this main and should be position relative come on yeah I set the width and the height 100% save this and now let's target the image and also let's target the div cool so this should be position not relative it should be absolute nice from top it should be 50% so that we and make this horizontal and vertically center and leave 50 percent fine then the transform and translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent and that's the generic rule of putting everything at the center save this and now look at this cool so let me just comment out the second phone i mean this frame save this and now look at this look at this there is no change but if you just you know uncomment this and comment out the first image you can see that yeah i have only the frame right Okay, so you got the idea. Fine. 
if this go to the style.css let's add more styles cool let's target the images and resize the images so image i mean by this image tag i can target all those images so width is around 700 pixel this is trial and error height is not 700 let's make this 350 cool not 250 man 350 to maintain the aspect ratio we can use object fit content fine just save this let's see much better no let's increase the size uh, let me just remove this height the width let's let me just make this 400 pixel let's see yeah much better cool now let's adjust this main div so just target this main so main and then i have this div here let's add some styles so width is around i don't know 800 pixel display flex the flex direction should be column what i'm doing man i'm trying to make some shortcuts but yeah push. okay justify content should be centered so that the text is horizontally centered and then also align item center so that it is vertically centered and the gap between the elements is around 10 pixel or one rim fine let's see yeah much better let's increase the font size you can actually see this effect right try the phone try the product for free subscribe please okay let me just increase the font size quickly so each one the font size is 3.5 rem and then i have this paragraph which has the font size of 1.5 rem not 1.5 let me just make this 1.2 okay save this cool much better now it's time to make this animation so this is really simple so what do we really want we want to you know, change the position property and also rotate property look at this i'm changing the position of the x and also i'm changing the rotation property the rotate z actually yeah let's do it so let me just create a keyframe so keyframe the identifier name is movement fine oh no github copilot but that, that is okay okay you know what first of all let me just disable the github copilot really disturbing okay so zero percent the translate x would be minus 100 percent right so translate x minus 100 percent and then at the 100 percent i want the translate x would be at zero now let me just add the animation go to the image because ultimately i'm gonna animate both the images right so let me just you know select the image tag and here animate the name of the animation is movement duration is 4 seconds this is infinite i want the animation to be continued infinitely and this function is linear okay let me just save this and let's see wow nice now this is actually working but the problem is the translate y is been overwritten so let me just correct the code so here inside this animation so let me just make this again translate y minus 50 percent copy the code also at the 100 percent i don't want any change so I save this and now look at this okay cool now the last thing i want to do is to animate the rotate z property so at the zero percent the rotate z just make this minus 10 degree and at the 100 percent rotate z is 30 degree cool. save this let's see nice and now let's change the animate direction property so under this image animate direction is alternate fine save this let's say nice okay cool so that's it guys that was a really small video it was not planned again but cool yeah fine and again guys if you are new to this channel i make videos on web development and web designing so if it somehow sounds interesting please subscribe to our channel bye